Let's bring in from Parents Defending Education investigative fellow Alex Nestor. Alex, it's good to have you on the show. We need you on the story. We've got news coming in. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals just took on a major lawsuit filed by four female track and field athletes. They're filing it against Connecticut. These women lost in their track events against biological males. Here's the takeaway. It's a big one. All 15 judges, Alex, on this appeals court ruled that, yes, these women athletes Athletes were deprived of their civil rights, their Title IX equal athletic opportunity rights, that they that's been violated. But this Biden White House is changing Title IX. So these judges are basically saying the White House is violating women athletes' rights here. Yeah, so this is a really important reversal from a decision last year that said that these women had no standing. And we know that's absolutely not true. From 2017, when Connecticut first um, enacted this rule, to 2020, when these women filed suit, two biological males competing in women's sports won 15 state titles and denied women 85 different opportunities to advance in track and field. So it's really great to see this reversal. But you're exactly right. We're expecting some rules to come down the pike from the Biden administration next year that would basically say that schools cannot uh, forbid biological males from competing in women's sports. And that is a huge threat to female athletes across the country. Yeah. And, you know, Alex, what you're saying, you know, these women athletes say they suffer, quote, unfair injury and physical harm in the playing field. They suffer losing races, losing titles, potential scholarships, even endorsements. And he had more than six dozen athletes, coaches, sports officials, parents. They filed an amicus brief in support of the, the women's lawsuit. You have tennis legend Martina Navratilova, two Olympic swimmers, Nancy, Nancy Makar and Donna De Verona. They support the women athletes. They could get monetary relief here. Right. And most Americans do. Look, there was a poll this summer that said around 70 percent of Americans say that sports should be separated by biological sex. And that is because, let's state the facts, after males go through puberty, they retain biological advantages over women, increased bone density and muscle mass, just to name two. So, yes, and we've also seen women have physical injuries from competing against biological males. Just a few weeks ago, there was a male field hockey player who knocked the teeth out of a girl um, playing in field hockey. And a, a while back, too, a girl in volleyball sustained a concussion. And it's so great to see women like Riley Gaines and these four athletes in Connecticut take a stand. They will not sit down, they will not shut up, and they will not be told to lose gracefully. You know, Alex, all girls deserve the chance to compete on a level playing field. We have an attorney, Christiana Holcomb, she's uh, uh, with the Alliance Defending Freedom, said Connecticut state policy forces girls to become spectators in their own sports. But attorneys warn that the Title IX changes that the president wants to accept biological males in women's sports, it's reversing nearly 50 years of advancement for women, and it's completely at odds with the spirit of Title IX. But the president keeps changing, you know, he's changed this federal law. It's designed to create equal opportunities for women in education and athletics, but he's reversing that. Well, that's exactly right. When it was written in 1972, it was meant to protect um, from women from discrimination based on sex, or women and men from discrimination based on sex. And there was nothing in there to read, um, you know, gender identity into this rule. And because the Biden administration wants to do that, we will see the elimination of women's sports and spaces. Got it. Alex Nestor, thanks for joining us.